Hushy, I got a helper for you. Well, the spuds we cut thick and the meat we cut thin. feel bad. Every fella gets a spill sooner or later. Romantic? You romance that gear away before this storm hits, or I'll clobber the both of you. It's even worse than usual. What's wrong with it? I don't know. Wormy, maybe. I'll skin the next man says I can't cook. Oh, I already finished, Mr. Wishbone. You're as good as ever. Best stew ever cooked. Then eat it. Anybody want any? More? Mm. One helping was enough. Gracias. Mr. Favor, which one? Said he'd be back by sundown. What's keeping Mr. Favor is his affair. You think something's happened to him? I'm the camp cook. I'm the camp doctor. I'm the camp barber. I'm even the camp blacksmith. I can't be the camp fortune teller. Three men taking over this whole outfit. How'd Mr. Favor let a thing like that happen? Well, I've been around a long time, and I never yet seen anybody with a smart answer for a 45 pointed down your ear. Nobody alive, that is. But what are we supposed to do? Just sit here and take it? Well, worse comes to worse, I got a sure way to get rid of them. How's that? Why'd you do the cooking? Well, I'm serious. So am I. Now, next time you want to get Mr. Favor killed, just be sure this gun's loaded. <laughs> Seem proper like for a fine lady to be serving a lot of trail hands. I don't think Mr. Favor should have. What did I tell you about thinking? Anything would be an improvement on riding that chuck wagon with Mr. Wishbone. But this ain't gonna be no picnic either. What do you say when you're driving a lady like that? Joking don't seem right. You can't just talk about cows, which is about all I know. Mushy, what do you think you're going to find in them bushes? Scouring sand for the pots you're supposed to be scrubbing? Well, I was looking for scouring sand, Mr. Wishbone. Honest, I was. I got to thinking how sad Mrs. Spaulding always look. Makes me sad just to look at her. Thought a little nosegay would prick her up. Oh, you did, did you? Well, you better get your mind back to thinking about your greasy pots. Now, we're breaking camp. And if you know what's good for you, you'll get them pots clean and sparkling before we move. What are you doing in my kitchen? Oh, my big kitchen you got here, Wish. I'm just brewing up a little tea for Mrs. Spaulding. Oh, you are? Well, what are you, a ramrod or a kitchen maid? Besides, that ain't tea, lover boy. 
That's Chinese herbs for liver bile. That's tea. You can't read the label, smell it. Besides, what's wrong with my coffee? Nothing, Wish, nothing. It's just that Mrs. Spaulding was telling me about all the nice times she had over a cup of tea back in Concord. Well, it's time she found out this ain't Concord. Oh, Wolfhound, you're not as wild as you bark. You've been, uh, shining up to her yourself, anyway. Me? Shining up to her? The only ones doing that are the two that are still green behind the ears. You and that other lover boy, Mushy. Well, Miss Spaulding's got to have her tea out in the middle of the prairie. I guess I'd better hot up the water again. Boy, this greener's a weapon. If a man wants to do some real damage, this is the same to do it. Eighteen hard shot in each barrel. Boy, it's hard to miss when you're throwing out 36 chunks of lead. Well, I'd back a baby against John Wesley Harden with a gun like this. Why don't you just marry that old gun and be done with it, Wishbone? Well, I'll tell you now. You treat a gun like this right, she'd be a wife to you, and a mother and a lady friend, too. You can depend on that. Miserable I'm sorry you got away, Mr. Wishbone. That noise startled me. Scarlet, Quince, get over with the horses. Here, you can have mine. All right. These women know how to cook. Well, who knows how to cook a lizard, huh? Lizard. A lizard? Mm. I can let you have all the flour and beans you want, but... No bacon. I ain't had any bacon since last fall. Anything else you can think of? Axle grease, but I don't see none. Got a lot of lard. I know, mister, but lard ain't the same as axle grease. That's not what you told me when you fried that last batch of spuds. You shut up. <laughs> uh, I'll look around for a bit. Mm. Hey, Rowdy, let me look at the mirror a minute. What for? Oh, you know. Uh, I, I think it's better that you don't see what we see. Wait. Oh, come on, I ain't gonna eat it. Let me use the mirror. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did you ever see anything like that? <laughs> I never did. 